Ever wonder why you can't help but feel a little down after scrolling through social media? Well, you're not alone. It's no secret that social media has become a major part of our daily lives. These platforms, while connecting us in unprecedented ways, have also fostered a culture of comparison that is hard to escape. We're in an age where our lives are on display, and it's all too easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others. We see the perfect vacation photos, the flawless selfies, the latest achievements of our friends, and it can feel like everyone else's life is somehow better than ours. This constant, constant comparison can have a profound impact on our self-esteem. When we measure our lives against the highlight reels of others, it's easy to feel inadequate, to feel like we're not measuring up. This can lead to feelings of low self-esteem and self-worth. We start to question our abilities, our appearance, our life choices, and our worth. Let's take a closer look at some common social media behaviors that contribute to this comparison culture. We've all done it, scrolling through a friend's vacation photos and wishing we were there, looking at a celebrity's flawless selfie and questioning our own appearance, or seeing a colleague's promotion post and feeling a pang of envy. These behaviors, while seemingly harmless, can slowly chip away at our self-esteem. But it's important to remember that what we see on social media is often a curated version of reality. It's a highlight reel, not a full picture. People tend to share their best moments and achievements, not their struggles and setbacks. So the next time you find yourself comparing your life to someone else's on social media, take a step back. Remember that everyone has their own journey, their own challenges, and their own victories. So, the more we scroll, the more we compare, and the more we compare, the worse we could potentially feel about ourselves. But remember, you're not alone in this, and there are ways to navigate this comparison culture, which we'll delve into in the next part of this exploration. Let's take a closer look at the types of social media behavior that fuel this culture of comparison. Picture this. You've just logged onto your favorite social media platform. As you scroll through your feed, you see a well-known influencer flaunting a lavish vacation. Next, you stumble upon a friend's post celebrating a major career milestone. Then, you come across a post from someone showcasing their perfect physique. These scenarios are all too familiar, aren't they? Influencers, for instance, often project a carefully curated reality that can seem unattainable for the average person. Their posts, filled with exotic locales, high-end fashion and enviable lifestyles, can make us feel as if our own lives are lackluster in comparison. Then there's the impact of likes and comments. These digital affirmations have become a yardstick for social validation. We often find ourselves measuring our worth based on the number of likes or comments our posts receive. In comparison to the seemingly endless flood of approval others seem to garner, our own posts may feel underappreciated, leading to feelings of inadequacy. Finally, the effect of curated content cannot be overstated. Social media platforms are designed to show us more of what they think we want to see. This means we're often exposed to a continuous stream of posts that highlight the best parts of people's lives, while the struggles and less glamorous moments are left in the shadows. This curated reality can distort our perception of what a normal life looks like, leading us to question why our own lives don't measure up. Each of these behaviors contributes to a culture where comparison is not just inevitable, but actively encouraged. And when we're constantly measuring ourselves against these polished, carefully selected snippets of others' lives, it's no wonder that our self-esteem can take a hit. Easy to see how these behaviors can make us feel like we're not measuring up, isn't it? Hey, before we move on, we have something exciting for you. If you're finding this content insightful and want to follow along for more, why not hit the subscribe button? That way, you'll never miss out on our deep dives into important topics like this one. And if you think this video might help a friend or two navigate the tricky waters of social media comparison, feel free to share it with them. We're all in this together, after all. Lastly, we'd love to hear about your experiences. Have you ever felt the sting of comparison on social media? How do you deal with it? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Your insights might just help someone else who's struggling. Now, let's dive back into our exploration. Stay tuned. There are ways to combat this culture of comparison and protect your self-esteem. The first step to shielding yourself from the negative impact of comparison culture is to develop a keen sense of self-awareness. It's about recognizing when you're falling into the comparison trap and understanding the emotions it triggers. This awareness like a mental alarm bell, alerting you when it's time to step back and reassess your perspective. Setting realistic expectations is another powerful strategy. Remember, 
Social media is often a highlight reel, showcasing the best bits of people's lives. It's not a representation of reality, so don't expect your life to mirror what you see online. Instead, focus on your own journey, your own growth, and your own achievements. Speaking personal growth, it's essential to shift the spotlight from others onto yourself. Rather than comparing your progress to others, measure it against your past self. Are you a, a better person today than you were yesterday? Have you learned something new, made a positive change, or taken a step towards your goals? These are the achievements that truly matter. Now let's talk about your relationship with social media. It's not about completely disconnecting from the digital world, but rather about cultivating a healthier, more balanced interaction. Consider limiting your screen time, especially during the hours when you're most likely to fall into the comparison trap. Moreover, curate your online environment. Unfollow accounts that make you feel inadequate and follow those that inspire and uplift you. Seek out content that encourages personal growth, positivity, and self-love. Remember, you have control over what you consume online. Lastly, practice self-compassion. It's okay to not have it all figured out. It's okay to have bad days. Be kind to yourself and remember everyone's journey is unique. It's your feed, so make it feed your positivity, not your insecurities. Let's quickly recap what we've discussed today. We've delved into the world of social media and its impact on self-esteem, highlighting how the culture of comparison can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-worth. We've discussed common behaviors that contribute to this comparison culture, such as constantly comparing our lives, appearances, and achievements to others. But remember, it's not all doom and gloom. We've also explored practical strategies to combat this culture of comparison, by cultivating self-awareness, setting realistic expectations, focusing on personal growth, and curating a positive online environment, we can mitigate the negative impact of social media on our self-esteem. In It's About Taking Control of Your Social Media Experience and Turning It Into a Tool for Personal Growth Rather Than a Source of Stress. So next time you're scrolling through your feed, remember these tips and take control of your social media experience.